So welcome to my dyer's, welcome? <laughs> um, to my dyer's uh, theory, star theory um, thing. <laughs> and basically there's four parts to it. Um, so uh, I've got stuff to say now. So stars and constructions, industry and audience, ideology and culture, and character and personality. I want to say person, but it's personality. And basically, these all make up what a star is, supposedly. So you either fit into one of those four categories, or most stars probably will have one, like a little bit of each. But some examples of what different things are and how they're used in the music industry to make money. Um, so a big one I'm starting off with, which is quite a good example, I'd say. I came up with it myself. Um, stars and construction. So that is where something has been created to be linked with uh, the artist and something to do with that artist. So I'm using Ed Sheeran as my example. So he has got his musical instruments to represent him. His guitar, his hair colour, which is not really a thing that's an object, but it's become the colour that, you know, it's representative of him. Um, but mainly his guitar, so it's very much linked with his music and the fact that he uses it to create it. But also as well, he uses it as a publicity with his um, albums linked to a guitar and he'll have like the divide sign for his divide album and a plus sign for a plus album and multiply and all that. Have a guitar with us, the symbol of that album for those songs with it. And so it kind of well, not kind of, it does um, publicise and promote that album as well as his music, as well as when you see that he's one of known, I'd say, in younger uh, music um, to be known, especially in pop music and very like popular music in our sort of time, uh, to be seen as him linked with a guitar and that sort of style. Um, I mean, it's worked obviously, <laughs> he's got this million pound business. Um, through that and he's probably one of the most wealthiest of our modern time earners he earns like 95 bi million not billion million a year and his net worth is only 65 million he can literally buy himself if he wanted but obviously it's a bit weird if you buy yourself in a way if that's possible so yeah another one is obviously um stars oh what am i saying ideology and culture so that is like where basically they represent something else so I've done Beyonce and the way she represents feminists and feminism and how she's very much for um, power to women in a sense making sure that they get equal rights equal pay um, it's definitely come around more since she's had like a daughter and since she's herself um, been in the business world and she's had to probably fight harder to get the same amount of money in the music industry um, she's kind of contradicts herself in some of her music videos in the way uh, it's still sort of shown as a woman needs to use her body to get this power but she is seen especially to many young females I'd say and girls um, the way she empowers uh, being a girl and being a woman and how strong she represents that and I would say that carries over into her work with working with um, the feminist movement and rights for equal pay and all things like that. Um, so I'm, I don't know, we'll have one so that stars as, uh, no, I've done that one. <laughs> um, so industry and audience is another one which I was going to say. <laughs> um, so Little Mix is a good example. So basically industry and audience is where they are purposely done to create money. They're purposely put together to create money. So the X Factor is a really good example in general in how it's all about making money and finding the next big star to make some more money. Little Mix were put together um, on that show and they have done that. They've come out with their own fashion range, their perfume, their products and makeup and tops and um, but most of all their music, which is, you know, they've had huge success, huge followings of fans and it's that kind of thing where they've got all of that following behind them and it's creating all of this money and it all came from something that started off purely to make money out of someone and that's 
what they are. So they mainly fit into that category of um, how their industry is affected by the audience and what the audience demands of them, which is something they aim at because they basically aim at getting the audience's money. Um, so finally, um, I want to do character and personality. Um, character and personality is where it links to that person, so what they are shown as on screen is what you would think of them or perceive of them to be shown as off screen. And that quite often means, like, like the bad boy image you are, um, for rock music, they're shown as like all oh, this uh, bad boy leather jackets and you'd expect them to wear it and see them as it off of screen. So an example I've done is Taylor Swift and I've done her because she uses a lot of her everyday life in her music and the way she uses her relationships is her um, inspiration and how she uses all of the different um, what do you call it? sort of life everyday ups and downs in her songs and how she uses that to inspire her so um, she also has a lot of high profile boyfriends or had she which have become used in her music and have become the centre of her music so it not only publicises her but publicises them in a way either negatively or positively depending on her mood um, but there's just some like examples it's like Joe Jonas and Taylor Lautner um, you know you've got come, uh, I can't even say their names, Harry Styles, Irvin Harris, um, Tom Hiddleston, they're all huge names either in the singing, acting, um, a dance kind of scene and it kind of not only bounces off her, it shows in her music but also it shows then represented in what she's like in real life and um, how that influences both um, her and then in her music and shows what a fan, to a fan, what she might be like. So yeah, that's my Dyer's Star Theory analysis kind of thing with how it takes those four parts basically to make a person successful and some people do it better than others. <laughs> so yeah.